much better than this. Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about this, this movie, Thunder Force on Netflix. This movie just came out not too long ago, and I'm going to warn you, if you couldn't tell by the intro, I hated this movie. Um, not just because it was bad, because it spoiled so many talented people. You had a lot of talented people attached to this. And it was just stupid. It was just really stupid. Okay, what this movie is about is two childhood friends. Uh, they're, they're the unlikeliest of friends. And here's the thing. <clears throat> there was this world event. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? This movie. And man, as I'm talking about this movie, I'm starting to get a headache. Uh... <laughs> big shocker i got a headache while watching it as well there was this event and this movie has decent ideas at the first at, just at the first um there's this world event where basically the creation of the fantastic four happened right like this cosmic right and it affected some people but here's the thing your brain has to be messed up for it to affect you so Basically, I believe it was if you had to be like a sociopath. So, basically, it created a ton of supervillains, but no superheroes. So, you have two friends, uh, very the unlikeliest of friends. Uh, they, they split apart uh, as kids. And the smart one goes and she's trying to create superheroes. And... The other one kind of just goes on, has a not the greatest life. So they finally get back together uh, because they're supposed to be a reunion. Uh, and the uh, Melissa McCarthy character, who's the one whose life hasn't been very good, accidentally injects herself with the superhero serum. serum and she gets, you know, like, I'm, I'm strong powers. And then Octavia Spencer's character... Uh, gets invisibility powers, and they go to fight crime. That's the movie. Now, we all know that given the right material, Melissa McCarthy can be good. And given the wrong material, she's not very good. And, well, it's the latter for this one. And I hate saying that because, man, I want her to be in good stuff because she's really good. If you give her the right material, she's really good. And... This is just one of those movies where the jokes drag on and they allowed them to ad lib too much and uh, just did not work. Octavia Spencer so much better than this. Jason Bateman, who probably plays the more the most interesting character, isn't even that good. Uh, he plays the crab, which uh, his the superpower he got from the event was he got crab claws. And he walks around and acts like a crab now. And he gets to have a romance with Melissa McCarthy's character. Uh, because they're, they, they like to both be freaky like that. We'll just, we'll just say it that way. She has a thing for uh, wanting to butter up crab. And he really likes it. And it's kind of weird. Again, in the, with good writing, it could have been funny. Uh, Bobby uh, Cannavale plays the villain. Who you know, of course is going to have superpowers. Thankfully, they didn't try to make that like the last minute reveal. They revealed it pretty early, so at least there was that. Uh, you have Melissa Leo in this, who uh, she works for the good guys, but of course she's going to betray him. You see it coming a mile away. There's just no surprises in this movie. None. No surprises. Uh, you know that Jason Bateman's character is going to turn on the bad guys and become a good guy. Um, you know that the daughter of Octavia Spencer has been working on her own superpowers. Well, she becomes a speedster. Big surprise. There's just nothing, nothing in this movie I enjoyed. I wanted, I wanted everyone to be wrong about this one. I wanted to watch it and go, huh, people are just slamming it because, 
oh look Melissa McCarthy's doing another silly comedy again and I wanted to be wrong because again I've seen her do really good with the right material and Octavia Spencer's amazing Jason Bateman can be really funny uh Bobby Cannavale can be funny uh Melissa Leo's great and it's just they're all so much better than this all so much better this movie has no surprises the idea is good the idea introduces at the beginning is good but the execution and everything else in this movie is not good the effects aren't good the the jokes are terrible the only thing the only thing i liked about this movie is nothing is is something that nobody else would would get and it's because uh the bad guy the king he likes to you know have his henchmen killed right and one of them's name is andrew but then he's like or is it andy is it andrew or is it andy and the and of course y'all know my son's name is andy so one of my nicknames for my son is andy rue because when he was born we called him andrew and then i started calling him andy rue and then that got shortened to andy and it's just our cute way of saying andrew andy rue right well bobby cannavale's character goes is it andy andrew andy rue and then to me that was funny because it was a personal thing no one else would get that so if the only thing i got it out of this movie was something personal that they couldn't have known they were trying to make funny for me uh, this movie is terrible look i know it's free on netflix i know it's got people in it you like but man you could waste your time doing just about anything else and have a better time than thunder force i'm out